Today's episode idea was inspired by our listeners, Gunner and Landon. And Gunner and Landon specifically asked for a haunted island adventure, but I want to ensure everybody listening, especially our younger listeners, that this episode is not, I repeat, it is not spooky. In fact, I would say it is the opposite of spooky. You might say that it is happy or fun or even groovy. Anyway, on to the story. Froggy the Gator, Mr. Hummus, Wormbird, and Tomato Hedgehog were all spending a day at Gator Grove Beach. It was getting warmer outside because it was nearly springtime, and they were all outside playing, you guessed it, Super Rangers. And if you don't know what Super Rangers are, you can imagine a certain other intellectual property that I won't name for legal reasons, but it rhymes with Wower Pangers. And in case you still don't know what I'm talking about, and it's okay if you don't, these Super Rangers are some guys who all have basically superpowers, and they have the ability to summon really cool robots, and their robots can turn into a mega robot with all of the robots attaching to each other, and the mega robot is fittingly called Mega Robot. So the friends were all on the beach playing Super Rangers, or Wower Pangers, and the first thing they were doing was figuring out which robots they were all associated with. I'm going to be the T-Rex, of course, said Froggy the Gator, and my T-Rex robot is going to be red, also of course, and he's going to be really metallic, and he'll have like really cool light-up eyes and make a really ferocious roar whenever I call him. That sounds great, Froggy, Mr. Hummus said. Well, my robot dinosaur is going to be the Triceratops. And he's going to be blue, and he's going to have three Triceratops horns, naturally. And he can actually run really fast, and he'll even have wheels under his feet that can turn him into kind of like a tank type guy. Then Tomato Hedgehog chimed in. Okay, well, I want my robot to be a saber-toothed tiger. And Froggy and Mr. Hummus immediately interrupted and said, Wait a minute, Tomato Hedgehog. A saber-toothed tiger is not a dinosaur. Our robots are supposed to be dinosaurs. Actually, responded Tomato Hedgehog, in the original Wower Pangers, there was a saber-toothed tiger. So my robot is considered canon by true fans. Hmm, said Froggy and Mr. Hummus together. I'll allow it, Froggy said. Then Tomato Hedgehog continued. My saber-toothed tiger robot is going to be silver and yellow, since Froggy already picked tomato color red, and he's going to have huge, and I mean huge, fangs. These fangs are going to be like four feet long, and he'll have the powerful ability to run exactly like a cat, thanks to hydraulic pistons that are installed in his hind and his forelegs. Sounds great, Froggy said. Wormbird, what about you? Well, Wormbird said, I've been thinking a lot about this, and I've decided that my robot is going to be a pterodactyl. I figured that makes sense, since I have my bug wings and I can fly and everything, and since our other friend Terra Pterodactyl isn't here today because she had a dentist appointment, I'm going to be the pterodactyl. And my pterodactyl is going to be purple, kind of like in honor of our friend Terra, who is also purple, and who had to go to the dentist today. So all the guys had their robot prehistoric beasts picked out, Notice I didn't say dinosaurs, since Tomato Hedgehog had one that wasn't a dinosaur, and they were practicing their karate on the beach, doing really strong kicks and chops, and thinking about how cool their robot prehistoric beasts were when they saw something ahead of them in the water. Hey guys, Froggy said to his friends, what's that? And they all squinted to look out in the breakers, really just a few yards into the water, where it was still pretty shallow, and they all saw a strange, abandoned rowboat. Is that a boat? Just sitting there in the water? Where is its captain? Mr. Hummus asked, rhetorically, which means he wasn't really expecting an answer, as nobody really knew the answer, but he wanted to ask a question to make a point, or to advance the conversation. That's what a rhetorical question is. Where do you think its captain is? Mr. Hummus said. Guys, Froggy responded, 
This is the perfect chance for us to use our Super Ranger robot beasts. We can summon them, and we can turn them into the Mega Robot, and we can stomp out into the waves to get to the boat. But the rest of the friends looked nervous. I don't know, Froggy Wormbird said. Your dad is all the way up the beach, and we aren't supposed to get in the waves without a grown-up. Hmm, Froggy responded. You're right. So Froggy called his dad down and told him the situation, and Daddy the Gator was happy to play along and guide the boys as they pretended to build their super mega robot and go investigate the boat. So now, everybody was right on the edge of the water. Froggy the Gator with his T-Rex dinosaur robot, Mr. Hummus with his Triceratops dinosaur robot, Tomato Hedgehog with his non-dinosaur saber-toothed tiger robot, and Wormbird with his pterodactyl dinosaur robot, and Daddy the Gator, making sure that everybody stayed safe. Okay, fellas, Froggy said to his friends, seriously, it's time to call on our robots to form Mega Robot. I'm not sure what we're going to see when we get out to that boat, but this is what heroes do. We venture into the unknown, and I don't know if it will be spooky. I don't know if it will be haunted. I don't know if it will simply be cool and groovy. But what I do know is, we can't turn back now. Daddy the Gator just smiled as he looked out at the boat. It was really just a few feet into the waves, and he knew that some fishermen had probably anchored it there while they went on shore to get more bait or supplies or something, but he was happy to play along with Froggy and his friends. So Froggy called on his T-Rex dinosaur, and the guys imagined a huge red T-Rex dinosaur robot exploding out of the sand, roaring at the sun, and then standing and waiting for the rest of the dinosaurs to create Mega Robot. Mr. Hummus, Tomato Hedgehog, and Wormbird called their robots, and then the guys all pretended that the four robots started transforming into Mega Robot. Froggy's T-Rex robot was the Mega Robot head, so it had the head of a T-Rex, which was pretty interesting. And Mr. Hummus's Triceratops robot was the midsection and arms, so it had like three huge spikes coming out of its shoulders for protection, like football pads. And Tomato Hedgehog's Sabertooth Tiger robot was the legs, so it had cat legs, and it could run really fast. And Wormbird's Pterodactyl robot was the wings. So this mega robot could fly also, actually. Okay, guys, Froggy said, it's time to investigate this boat. And they all imagined that they got inside the mega robot and flew it high into the air, with rocket boosters propelling it off the ground through the saber-toothed tiger feet, and they took some time to soar around the shoreline before diving down to see the boat. In reality, they were all just kind of wading out toward the boat in the water with Daddy the Gator accompanying them, of course. But the mega robot scenario is what they imagined and is frankly much cooler. As they arrived at the boat, they saw something they never could have imagined. Well, to be fair, Daddy the Gator did imagine it, but the kids didn't. Wait a minute, said Froggy when they got to the boat. This is just a regular boat. That's right, said Daddy the Gator. It probably belongs to some fishermen. But it's pretty cool, isn't it? How your imaginations made something completely different. That's pretty special, guys. And so Froggy and his friends went back to playing Super Rangers, or Wower Pangers, on the non-spooky, not-that-very-haunted beach, or wherever you want to call it, until it was time to go home and eat some spaghetti. The end. Hey everybody, this is Harrison, the creator of Froggy the Gator. I wanted to thank Gunner and Landon for that really awesome story idea, and I also wanted to let you all know some huge news. I've joined Sherwood, and if you didn't know, Sherwood is an app where you can read and watch thousands, and I mean thousands, of great books, audiobooks, and shows, and they're all approved by us, so you know they're safe, and you know they're completely advertisement-free. Froggy the Gator is featured on the platform, by the way. If you want to try Sherwood out, you can ask your parents to click the link in the podcast description of this episode, or you can all go together to SherwoodKids.com. Until next time, we'll talk soon.